and daddy sent you to get a pizza and you thought it was gonna actually fit in your car this thing is huge oh my gosh it won't even <laughs> sit flat i thought they was getting a large and i go on there and pay for it and this is what i came out with goodness gracious this can't even fit in the refrigerator but they gonna be eating good for the next couple days shout out to tormino's pizza though for real for real always ashy somewhere but i've been sleeping on this here i ain't even gonna lie to y'all i'm about ready to snatch it out i can i could probably save it maybe a couple of more days or whatever you know revive it but i'm about i about had it with this hair but how y'all doing i just wanted to drop on here real quick and just say how y'all doing i appreciate the people that know what's going on i appreciate the love the comments the prayers and things like that yeah i lost my sister and it's been a little rocky for me and i've been trying to take my time and kind of get my mind together and get my heart together and get my or my whole aura together before i get on here and record because i didn't want to be on here crying and sad and distraught so i'm glad i did take my time because i tried to record multiple times and i was like you know what i ain't put that on there i'm not but just know i'm okay i miss my sister terribly but I'm okay. I have my moments. I ain't gonna lie and say I'm the strongest. I have my moments. I break down. I try not to break down in front of everybody, but I break down, have my moments, come back. So it's gonna, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, and I ain't sorry for it. But I miss her terribly, and I'm glad that she's not suffering no more. That's my main thing. These last. Well, I ain't gonna say the last six months because she was suffering before, but these last six was like the toughest. And it broke my heart to have to even witness that. But she ain't suffering no more. Um, I get excited knowing that, you know, God got her and everything like that. But I just get sad sometimes. I didn't even want to go down there and mess with her and talk crap and like we do and stuff like that. I'm getting there, you know, it's going to take some time, but I'm getting there, and uh, I'm actually about to go and get my nephew, and try to spend some time with him, Lily, miss him. By the way, my daddy's birthday coming up in two days, and um, I would appreciate if y'all drop a, li a like, a comment, saying happy birthday to my daddy, he about to turn the big, um, look, um, the big, I want to say 65. I want to say 65, but I might be wrong. Because I, I, I honestly lost track after 56. I always get it wrong. I knew when they turned 56, he didn't turn 56. But after that, I get confused and crossed up. Because, uh, yeah. But anyway, just drop a comment showing some love for Daddy Williams. He about to pig out on this, um, on this pizza. But, uh, yeah. I just want y'all to know, it ain't no cap in my rap. I can't even get out this damn door with this pizza. This don't make no sense. Lord, fix it. This piece about to knock me into this damn snow over here. Goodness gracious. Y'all, this don't make no sense. They could at least open the door. I have to drop this piece. <laughs> been shot murdered okay? it's been all over the place and i've been trying to constantly move and constantly do stuff but it's like the more stuff i do it's like all mushed together but, um, i don't know just taking a day at a time but right now i'm headed to walmart i was reorganizing my daughter's room at her daddy's house and you know I'm trying to get it so where she can be comfortable while she there and while we there because clearly we're living between two places if you haven't already guessed we're living between two places my mom's house and her dad's house you know just until 
we get situated into our own. But I want to make sure wherever she at, regardless of if I'm comfortable or not, her space is comfortable and she can't tell the difference between what's going on, even though she probably will pick up on it. But um, when I did move out, I did clear out like all her stuff out of there. So she basically don't have anything in there at the moment. She got her little toys and stuff, little stuff here and there. But I'm just trying to work on like, like I said, redecorating and putting stuff in there so she can have her space and her time to herself when she want to. I am gonna um, put her TV on the wall when I get back. You know, her, she only got like a little tiny TV. I'm just gonna put that up for right now and then get her a bigger one. But whatever I do put in there is obviously going with me when I actually move, so. Just a little small stuff. I'm gonna go get a couple of air mattresses so her her sister can have their own little bed. They don't have to keep fighting over stuff and have their own little bed. So just let them do them. All I'm gonna say is two toddlers fighting for that attention is something, but I don't want neither one of them to feel like they any different than the other one because they both are loved and they both are individuals at the end of the day they you know they sisters but they still gotta learn individuality if i said that correctly without freaking that up individuality that's one thing i want to teach them how to be by yourself you know what i'm saying you can be together you can love your sister you can be together y'all can be on top of each other but you gotta learn how to have that space too you know what i'm saying that's the only way you're gonna fully function being able to have your own space your own things your own mind, your own thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Not following behind each other because the other one did, but you gotta go do it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get where I'm coming from. I hope so, because I feel like I'm just mush mouth right now. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm in here, and I got in here and forgot completely what I was looking for. After I just told y'all, I sat there for a good three minutes trying to figure it out. But I figured it out, I'm back in it. I actually came in here to get some air mattresses, some Walmart mount. It says Walmart hardware kit. That's what I need. Cause I have the mount, but the screws that I need, I didn't pay in the actual mount. It was a cheap little mount. I really should just get one of these mounts. But at the time, they didn't have all these and I had to go somewhere else to get it. So you deal with what you deal with when you have to deal with it. But I got that, get to be with Something else, I just forgot. Just that fast. I'm gonna get it together. Here with it. Empty room. About to get busy. Throwing this bed up. Making a bed. And put a TV right here. Well, putting the mounts right here. I'm gonna put a little TV up for right now. And then I'll get her another suitable TV. Probably like maybe a 32. 42 down the line but for right now i think it's like a 19 inch but for right now that'll be decent so yeah go to beds and the pillows and the sheets so let's get it i like how it be all neatly folded when you take it out the box but when you actually trying to put it Un take all the air out and, and put it back in the box. It'll never end up <laughs> like this. Well, for me at least. Which bed is which? 
but I got a feeling Alina gonna pick that one. Cause she kind of sort of like trolls a little bit. She don't know it yet, but she do. But we gonna see the verdict. Now to Monster TV. In case you wonder, check this from Big Rock. $10. It's uh, support 26. What's that, 26? But we still gonna use it. 26 to 55. Send my up. I forgot I wasn't recording. I turned it off, but it took me a little bit because it was acting wonky. But it's okay, man. We got it now. We got it on the right spot. Now. I want to strip these grooves because I do want to take them down eventually. Be able to use it again. So, I don't know, my eyes are deceiving me. It look a little bit, just a teeny beanie, a little bit off, but it don't matter. It's up there, okay? It's secure, it ain't going nowhere. Now this probably gonna look wonky, cause it's a tiny TV, and these things gonna be overcrowding it, but uh, this just temporary. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got her up there. Yeah, it don't look bad at all. Now I'm gonna um, eventually go to my storage and get the Wii out and have the Wii here. I'm gonna go and get some like wall stuff to put on the wall and the lights to go throughout the room, little string lights and stuff like that. And um, I like how it done turned out so far. This just to start. So I want it to be plain yet comfortable. So right now, they don't like it. I haven't let them come in yet. I wanted to put the lights behind the TV, but I thought about it. If I, When I get the big TV, I'm gonna have to take them off of there and put it on there. So I just figured, I just wait till I get the big TV and just put the lights on the big TV when it comes. That way I won't mess up the sticky stuff. But other than that, I'm gonna get them like some stars or something to go up there also. And I got all the shoes. Back there is Lee's side and her little drawer. Her little top path is her sister side. And a couple extra toys in her top. So yeah, we getting there. It's gonna give me something to do. Keep my mind straight. Oh, I just kept, I don't even know why I still got this mask on. I only had this mask on since I got back. I'm tired. I'm tired as hell. I'm about to let them see this room. Or the beginning process of the room. And then I'm, I'm going to get ready for bed. Oh my gosh. I've been moving like constantly all freaking day. I done burnt at least a million. I ain't even going to say a million. I done burnt a lot of calories today. That's for sure. I'm half past sleep right now. Let me, let me see what they're about to do. Right here. Mm -hmm. You don't want that? Yes. Yeah. Mama in your bed. 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 Mama Not really, they jump on the ball. Give mama some sugar. Give mama some sugar. Give me that sugar. Give that sugar. I ain't gonna fall down. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she said, don't fall down, daddy.
Say what up though? What up though, y'all? I'm in my tunnel. I'm in my tunnel. I got tunnel vision. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey y'all, I forgot I had these uh lights right here. This is actually nice. Hey, all over the room. But yeah, just like a little disco light thing in the jig. Been had that thing about six, seven years. Didn't know I needed it till I had my beanie. It's the most I've been using it. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh-oh, we need some more air in our bed. Uh-oh, I hope we ain't busted already. Don't jump on it. All right, let's read us a book. Okay. All right, y'all sit down. Okay. All right, God Knows My Name. Okay. All right, y'all gonna listen? Yeah. All right. Hold on, let mama read it, Lee. Okay. Usually she don't let me finish it, but we gonna try this time. That girl is pretty, Lee. Got all her ponytails. All right, y'all. God made everything, and God knows everything. God knows me. He knows my favorite color. What's your favorite color? White. White? What's your favorite color, Lee? Ah, surprise! God already knew it, Lee. God knows my name. He even knows how many hairs are on my head. You got a lot of hairs on your head. Can you count how many hairs are on your head? What is your name? Black. What is your name? Um, Isabel. Okay, let me turn the page, I got it. Before God made the world, he knew about me. Before I was born, God knew what would happen every day of my life. He even knew Lily was gonna pick up that gator. Okay, these pages are stuck. Somebody has sticky hands. My surprise birthday party didn't even surprise God. Nothing surprises God. God sees me when I sit down and when I stand up and when I walk away from my mommy when she's ready to. Me. On the first day of school, when no one knows my name yet, God knows my name. He hears my every thought, I think, and every word I say. God sees me when I go out to play. Yay, God is too wonderful. Can y'all please sit still while I read this book? For me to see him now, but he sees me. Sit down. We're going to finish this one and we'll read another one. Okay? Mama going to read all of them. Come sit down. God sees me when I go to bed. He can watch over me because he never sleeps. He can see in the dark. God sends out the stars at night and wakes up the sun in the morning. Somebody's sleeping. When I hide in my favorite hiding place, God can find me. Nothing can hide from God. Even if I float across the ocean, God knows. He tells the waves where to stop. He touched the very bottom of the sea. Can you find the crab, octopus, starfish, snail, I don't know what to say, edamone, sea slug, and jellyfish? God understands how horses run and eagles fly. When the lions, when the lion cubs are hungry, God helps their family find food. God helps us too. Thank you, God, for our food. God can count every star up in the sky and space. She gonna read her own book. <laughs> Rude. He put everyone in his place just as he knows my name. He knows every star's name. God knows how to send the snow, frost, wind, lightning, thunder, rain. Sit down, Isabel, and do. When a deer has her baby, God knows. When a sparrow falls to the ground, or when I fall to the ground, Why God knows. When a deer has her baby, God knows. When a sparrow falls to the ground, or when I fall to the ground, God knows. He always knows how I feel. 
God understands when I feel sad, glad, mad, or bad. Sit down. He cares when I feel confident or embarrassed, scared or excited. I'm almost done, Lee. God knows the names of everyone in the whole wide world. And I want everyone everywhere to know God. So day and night, I'll make music and sing and talk about his name. Oh, Lord, I will give you glory to your name forever, for you love me so much. The end. Thank you.